Good afternoon children. Today we will be revising from your Panchatantra book The Laws of Gains. Okay? That is the fourth strategy. A tale from the fourth strategy of the Panchatantra book. Okay? What is that fourth strategy? Laws of Gains. Okay? Where you are, you have, you are going to have a definite loss. In that place, if you think a little, in a calm mind, you can change that loss into gain. Okay? Now, this is tale 2 as you have learned that you have read that tale 1 is the monkey in the water. The monkey was in a, um, a time when it was about to die because it was in the mid water and the crocodile announced that he was taking the monkey to his house so that his wife could eat the heart of the monkey and the monkey decided that made up a plan and in, though he was shocked he did not show that shock that surprise that uh, fright, fright to the crocodile and made a plan to save himself okay and finally he could save himself from the crocodile and his wife now here in this chapter also you will see that how the fox, actually the fox is doing the gain out of the loss. Okay. So in the story, you have a lion which is severely wounded while fighting with an elephant. Okay. And the lion became powerless and also very weak. So he asked his minister, the fox, to find a prey for him so that he could quench his uh, hunger. Okay, he was very hungry and he wanted to have some food. And you know, as that a lion is a flesh-eating animal, so the lion requested the fox, his minister, to find a prey or a victim. The fox found a donkey. Okay, you know that a fox is a very clever animal and it is not that that the fox did the work only for the lion or his king, or but he did it for himself also. And anyhow, he managed to bring the donkey to the lion. Okay. And in the second attempt, the lion could just uh, uh, kill the donkey and eat its flesh. Okay. As the donkey was told by the um, fox that the lion is searching for a bodyguard. Okay. In this words, the donkey was mistaken. The donkey un did not understand that actually he was taken to the lion for making him the food of the lion. Okay. But first time he understood, he ran away. But the fox again made him believe that actually it was the lion wanted a bodyguard. And the donkey went with the fox the second time and the lion killed the donkey and he was about to eat the flesh of the donkey. But... The fox was very clever. He just knew that he has given some labor to find out the donkey or the prey. So he cannot allow the lion to have the full meal. So what did he plan? He planned that he should also have his own share. And that's why he asked the lion to go and take a bath and then say his prayer. Then he could eat the flesh of the donkey. And when the Lion did so by that time the fox <clears throat> ate the brain of the donkey. Okay. Now when the lion came back he asked the fox that where was the brain of the donkey and the fox <clears throat> sorry and the fox made him understand that the donkey did not have any brain and this is why the donkey could be easily fooled and brought to the king. So the lion was again fooled by the fox and the lion accepted what the, lion, what the fox said and he ate the rest of the flesh. So you see here that if the lion could have understood that the fox is telling a lie, then the fox would have been killed by the lion. But the fox, he made a plan, a ready-made, a very quick answer he set for the lion and he told that the donkeys do not have uh, brain. Okay. And the lion believed it and left the fox. 
So you see here that the fox has pulled both the animals, the lion, animal, the lion and the donkey. Okay. So children, you are, you know the story now and you can answer any type of questions. I have given you some questions for your revision work. Who was wounded and how that you know very well that the lion was wounded while fighting with an elephant. Achha, who was the minister of the king? The minister of the king was the fox. It's an easy answer. Next, according to the fox, the lion was looking for a... What, what, the, see the answer. <clears throat> actually, if the question is that actually the lion was looking for a prey so that he could eat and uh, as he was hungry. But according to the fox, why the question is according to the fox, what was the lion looking for? According to the fox that was said to the donkey that the lion was looking for a bodyguard. Next, whom did the fox find as a prey? The fox found the foolish donkey as a prey. The lion was silly to accept that a donkey has no brain. Really, the lion was foolish that he accepted what the fox said, that the donkeys do not have brain. Next, the fox fooled both the animals. Who, which are the animals? The lion and the donkey. Next, you have to make a sentence with pounds. Children, you, you learn up all the word meanings of the words that are red lettered in your Panchatamja book. Okay? And you can be asked any meaning or you can be asked to make sentences with the meaning. Because until and unless you are able to make sentences, your meaning is not clear to you. Okay? Thank you.